Hello guys, I hope everyone is fine. In today's video, we will be discussing the concept of instantaneous description, which is one way in which the Turing machine can be represented. Now, uh, the important point uh, most of the students struggle with that how instantaneous description works. It is also a way in which the, uh, the Turing machine can be represented. But for that, you must know how to create a diagram of Turing machine. The examples uh, have been done in last two videos. So I'm taking one example, which is 0 par n, 1 par n, n greater than 0. And I'm taking a specific string 0, 0, 1, 1 in this. Okay. So how instantaneous description would work and how uh, how the transition is actually working. So for that, I must have the diagram of 0 bar n and 1 bar n. I have uh, created the diagram as 0xr. Uh, if you have a problem regarding drawing this diagram, kindly watch the last two videos where I have explained that how uh, the tape works and how it works from left to right and uh, right to left. Uh, one L Q two uh, zero zero L Y Y L and uh, we are like over here X X R and over here we have Y Y R. The moment we reach blank symbol, there we stop and that is our final state. So th this is a diagram of 0 par and 1 par n. So guys, I'm taking a specific example of 0, 0, 1, 1 and how instantaneous description would work accordingly. So let me just uh, tell you a very simple fact that instantaneous description works uh, in two directions, right as well as left. So uh, there is a tip to it. The simple tip is like uh, we are going to start from Q0, that is our initial state. And obviously the string that we have chosen is 0, 0, 1, 1. So the moment Q0 is given 0, just see from this diagram, Q, Q0 when it is given 0, 0 changes to X and you are moving in the right direction. So obviously there is a change of state as well. When 0 is uh, encountered with Q0, 0 changes to X. Q0 changes to Q1 and we are moving in right direction. So it means this 0 changes to X. This Q0 will also be moved and it will move in a right of its right. That means over here and Q0. Q0 definitely has been changed with Q1. So I'm writing Q1 over here in right direction and we have got Q1011. Again, I'm repeating this zero changes to X. So that is why I'm writing Z this zero with X and Q naught is actually moving to Q1. So it means Q1, Q naught is moving to right direction. So again, Q naught is changes to Q1. So Q naught is changed to Q1 and zero is changed to X and we are moving in right direction. So we're moving right of its right means Q naught's right is zero and its right is this particular part. So we are moving over here. So zero changes to X, Q naught changes to Q1 and you are moving in right. For right, you are going to move to right of its right. For left, you will move to left of its left. It means, again, I'm writing right, move right of right and left move left of left. So there is not an act, uh, actual space over here to solve it, but we, we're going to try and solve this question accordingly. So we have X, which is uh, given to us, which is X. And then we have got Q1, then zero, then double one. Uh, guys, when Q1 is given zero, just check. This Q1 is given zero. 0 changes to 0, it means this 0 will not change. This is going to be 0. This Q1 changes to Q1, but we are moving in right direction. Whenever right is encountered, you have to move to right of its right. So Q1 right is 0 and its right is over here. So Q1 does not change and we have got two ones and we have got this answer.
right so i'm moving in the next scenario so we have got earlier q not gave us 0011 right and uh, we had got that scenario let me uh, take the that particular scenario as well we have got zero changes to x and q not changes to q1 we got 0011 this q1 is given zero this q1 is given zero q1 changes to q1 we are getting zero over here we have got x we have got two ones over here as well right so taking the reference from the pre previous one or i'm taking a scenario in which this diagram is taken and i'm taking this diagram i'm using the reference of this diagram actually yeah and yes over here right so just check uh, from this you will you will be able to understand more x uh, given 0 uh, we have got x 0 q1 and q1 is given 1 guys just check when q1 is given 1 1 changes to y and you are moving in left whenever left direction is encountered then the state moves to left of its left so q1 left is a 0 and q1 will move to left of its left and is q1 changing yes q1 when it is given 1 1 changes to y so obviously whenever this one will come this will change to y uh, again this q1 changes to q2 so uh, it this q1 will be q2 but it will be the left of its left and we have got one over here right again guys just check q2 when it is given zero q2 is given zero q2 changes to q2 but again you are moving in left direction because q2 when zero is given it goes to q2 only and zero changes to zero so this zero will not change this q2 will move to left of its left again so it would be like over here we have got x we have got y and we have got one so guys q2 when it is given x so just check q2 when x is given so x changes to x so it means x won't change and you are moving in right so q2 right was x so it will move it to its right of its right so it means q2 would come over here right and uh, this will be like this particular scenario and guys let me tell you uh, that when q2 is given x so q2 changes to q0 also so it will move to the right of its right but over here it would be q0 right and uh, we have got y is as such same part we have got and right so guys when q0 is given 0 clearly q0 changes to q1 and you move in right direction so it means right of its right you will have x then 0 changes to x and you are q0 changes to q1 and you have got y and 1 so q1 when it is given y yes just check q1 when y is given it goes to right direction y changes to y only that means y remains as such and you are moving in right it means right of its right so you will have q1 and 1 just check q1 when 1 is given guys when q1 1 is given where it goes so q1 when 1 is given 1 changes to y so this is definitely y and you are moving in left so it means left of its left so your q1 is from q1 when it is given 1 it goes to q2 so your q1 changes to q2 
and you have got y over here and you have got 2x over here so guys similarly uh, you have got q2 when it is given y again you move in the left direction and q2 changes to q2 it means it will move to left of its left and q2 changes to q2 it means you will write x q2 x now y and y similarly q2 when it is given x so q2 when given x it goes to q0 so q2 changes to q0 and you are moving in right right means right of its right and q2 changes to q0 you have got x x so eventually uh, you have the scenario where you have got x x q0 y y and if you take a particular example out of this scenario let me just share that scenario with you over here your x uh, q0 when it is given y just check q0 when it is given y it goes to q3 your ultimate target is to reach blank symbol so q0 changes to q3 and you are moving it in right direction q0 changes to q3 and you have got y and you have got x x over here so q3 when it is given y q3 when it is given y it moves to right direction so over here it will go on right direction you have got y y and x x so q3 uh, will uh, change to q3 and there is no other symbol to process so q3 when blank is given it will go to q4 so eventually your 2x and 2y are encountered so that was your aim to because 0 and 1 and was to match two zeros and two ones so this is how your instantaneous description works so it means what is the tip so the two important tips are for right direction you will move to a right of its right and for left direction for left of its left right to change state and input symbol as per diagram so whenever we had a diagram so obviously when q0 is given 0 it 0 changes to x and q0 also changes to q1 so it means like this q0 when 0, 0, 1, 1 is given so q0 will change and it because it is a right direction so it will go to right of its right so q0 right is 0 so it will go to 0 the right but q0 changes to q1 so i'm writing q1 over here and this 0 also changes to x so obviously this 0 will change to x and this q0 will change to q1 and this process goes like this you have to continue this process till you get the blank symbol encountered so we got the blank symbol encountered in this part. So it means we are sorted with two zeros and two ones changing to X and Y. Uh, so kindly share, like, share and subscribe. If there is any kind of issue, kindly post it in comment section. Thank you very, very much.